In today's Take 5, we're going to be talking about abandoning friendly fire. In Luke 5, 27, we read that, that Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth, and Jesus said to him, follow me. Join me for a moment in a thought exercise. Think of the worst person you can think of in our society. It may be someone corrupt, ruthlessly violent. It may even just be like a trope, an idea of a person and not one specific person. Whoever it is, it's, it's someone who is a part of the problem, as you see it. Okay, now imagine you are assigned to solve the problems of the world, and this is the person who will be your partner to do the work. Welcome to the church. Welcome to the church. See, Levi, also known as Matthew, was a greedy, corrupt, bureaucrat gangster. <laughs> like Roman tax collectors were government officials who betrayed their own people through being the tax enforcers of an enemy occupier. But not only that, the standard procedure was for a tax collector to assess greater taxes than required by the government in order to line their own pockets. This guy, that guy, is who will join in the work of bringing God's kingdom? The reality is, all of us, all of us are like Levi. God uses you not because you are worthy or righteous, but because you have faith. You are not better than Levi. You are not better than the person who you see as the problem. You are forgiven based off his graciousness, not your righteousness. You have an impact on this world of eternal value only because he set you up for it and he gives you what you need to accomplish it. If he can do that for you, he can do that for anyone. There are no lost causes, only broken, lonely souls who need the grace and truth of Jesus. So joyfully welcome people to the ranks and work with them so that you both may become more and more effective for the kingdom of God. Now, as we walk through this week's set of take fives, be especially sensitive to those conflicts or grievances you maintain with other believers in Jesus. Compassion towards our fellow Christians is paramount to our ability to fulfill John 13, 35, where Jesus said, by this, all people will know you are my disciples, referring to our love for each other. So pray that God would draw you in his love for everyone who makes up the church and position you to fight the real enemy. If this video blessed you, please like and subscribe to get more content to help you live in love like Jesus.